Well, greetings. My name is Dr. Jim Coyle, and I'm excited to walk beside you as you take this Intro to Business course. As you can see on the screen here, this is what your Talon shell, when you open it up, it'll take you to this. And what I'm going to do is spend the next few minutes kind of guiding you through the shell. So hopefully we can address any questions that you do have or concerns. So um, if you go to the course content and you click on that, I'm going to go to the start here module. There we go. And as you, if you click on the start here, this will kind of briefly give you a description of the entire course. So in this section, we're going to ask you to look at the orientation to the CBE video. Um, you'll see my intro to business uh, video in there as well. The course syllabus, the course competency guide, the pacing guide, rubrics, and then you'll be able to review uh, and any concerns about using Zoom, which is a video conference. Um, you'll also have see a section where you can post your introduction and any sections or any questions that you might have. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to open up the course competency summary and assessment alignment. This is a document that will give you an overview of the entire course. There are six course competencies and under each course competency there are sub competencies. So um, you will see here that under the sub competency there's a um, write an overview of the global environment as it pertains to developing a business. So alongside of that you're going to see the formative assessment. These are our OERs, those are called Open Educational Resources, that you will have links to gathering the information. And then the assessment for each sub-competency for this particular one is to write an overview of the global environment. So each sub-competency is uh, directed by resources for you to open up with attached links in the OERs that will help you fulfill the assessment that's being asked for each one of those. So as we scroll down, you can kind of see all the course competencies. So this is a direct uh, outline of the entire course, all six competencies, and there are a total of 16 sub-competencies that are used. So the next um, document that I want you to be aware of and I think is probably one of the most important documents you'll have in this class. It's called the Pacing Guide. This is a five-week course. At least it's set up for you to complete in five weeks. So when you open up the Pacing Guide, this gives you uh, a map and uh, an evaluation of your time, how to budget it in order to complete the course competencies. So there are five weeks, as you can see, on this. Each week... I've accumulated the amount of hours that, that I feel are justified for you to be able to uh, gather your resources and then complete the assignments. So 15 hours in course competency one. Course competency two will be 14 and a half hours and on down. So um, course competency three is about 14 hours. So this is for you to really begin to budget how you're going to spend your time. To complete the assignments for the course. Again, this is called your pacing guide. Very important tool for you to use throughout the course. So now what I'd like to do is to open up one of the modules. I'm going to go back into the course content for you. And as you scroll down, you can see. So each course content has a module. When you click on the module, underneath it will show you will will show up the sub-competencies that are being asked for you to review and assess. So let's just look at 1-1 uh, one, one here. Um, again, when, you, when I go through this, they're all set up the exact same way. So if you go to the right here, you can kind of see how the, uh, the course competencies identified. Then you have your three sub-competencies for that module. In course or in sub-competency 1-1, this is 
um, I'm asking you to write a paper, and this is going to, you're going to describe the global environment um, as it pertains to developing a business. And so as we scroll here, here's what you'll look at. There are OERs that I will open up, and I'll show you what those, uh, all the links that are due. All of the all of the OERs that are included throughout the the content of the course, they include textbooks, videos, articles, and and maybe some other things that I've found that I thought would be um, pertinent to the information for you to complete the assessments. The beauty of the OERs is it eliminates a textbook and it gives you just the information that I'm asking you to look at to complete your assessment. So let's look at an OER. As you open up the OER, you will see that there are links to uh, the different resources that are available online. So I'm going to open up this particular, let's look at the OpenStax. This happens to be a wonderful textbook that is uh, available to us. It's an introduction to business. And so in global trade, I'm asking you just to read this, this section here. As you can kind of see, it's not a full chapter. It is just that section asking you to, uh, uh, you know, uh, gather the information that you're going to need. So those are the OERs. There are links to every one of them under each subcompetency. And so uh, as we go back here, once you have completed gathering your information and then you're, uh, you're ready to do the assessment, that assessment is down here where it says the overview of the global environment. So you can click on this and this is going to give you the directions on, on what is being asked. This particular uh, one is to write a three to five page paper. Um, and that paper is just going to include five challenges that are associated with developing a business in this global environment. So in the paper, there's going to be an introduction, the body of your five challenges, and then also the conclusion. Now, along with the um, uh, any of the projects that you're being asked to, uh, the assessments that you're being asked to do, there is a rubric to guide you. So you'll see all throughout the different links this rubric that is located right here. If you click on that, it will actually open up what a rubric looks like. Rubrics are wonderful because they will help guide you. And this is actually how we are going to uh, determine your grade. So in each rubric, you will see in the shaded area here, it says proficient. This means it meets the criteria. So in this particular assessment, um, the introduction, you know, we just expect, uh, want you to write it in a format that is uh, MLA, um, identifying the five challenges. So as you look at the rubric, this really breaks it down with each challenge that there's an appropriate challenge is identified five of those. And then the conclusion. So the rubrics that are attached to every assessment are there to help you and to guide you along in your journey of uh, completing the assessment. So it's a, it's a great tool for you and it will work. So let's go back up here now to the course content. So what we've done so far is we've described uh, the course to you through six sub or six competencies and then the sub competencies under each one of those. Each sub-competency, you're asked to gather the resources uh, that are required to uh, for the assessment. Um, I, I really, my, my desire, you guys, is for you to have a really good time with this. In fact, there's uh, one of the modules down here, module four. Uh, this is a fun module because I'm, I'm asking you all to um, develop and design your own product. Now, this is an introduction to business course. I really want you to have fun with this, but um, in designing these things, uh, we're going to look at how to apply them in a business. So again, each each one of the sub-competencies has its own OERs, 
and then a Dropbox for that particular assessment. So um, anyway, you guys, I hope you're having fun. Now, the, the grading, this is how the grading works. When you guys submit your uh, documents through the Dropbox, I will look at that and will, uh, if any of the, let me go back here to the rubric guide, rubric guide, because this, this will really help me. If, if the uh, things that I'm asking for you are proficient, then there's no re no need for any other coaching. If some of the things you might need, if I, if I notice something that uh, I can help you with and then we can, I'll give you the comments to help add that up. But hopefully that this is going to be a very simple and very fun course for you in this wonderful intro to, intro to business um, course. So with that, um, I'm going to sign off and let you guys get to navigating through this uh, wonderful talent shell on your own. If you have any questions, please uh, address those in the box uh, in, in the start module you'll see where you can do all that so i look forward to meeting you guys have a, a great rest of your day and uh, let's get through these five weeks with lots of fun and vigor thank you